Buari never died in 2017, and Queen Elizabeth never wrote condolence letter mm -hmm. to mark his death. Buari aid tell Nigerians. President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Mohamed Buari, has finally responded to popular conspiracy theories being bandied about on social media, which says he died in 2017, and that the man they think they have as a president now is actually an impostor. The story has been shared hundreds of times on social media, especially Facebook, which was consolidated by so-called condolence message on Queen of England. Queen Elizabeth sends to Nigerians as a tribute. In December 2018, Buari himself addressed the rumors during a meeting with other world leaders in Poland, where he said, Somebody has said, I am cloned. Adding in a later tweet, I can assure you all that this is the real me. Later this month, I will celebrate my 76th birthday and I am still going strong. Apparently, our findings but an international source reveals the photo of Queen mm -hmm. Elizabeth writing the alleged condolence letter and the false post was actually a picture taken in 2015 during the launched event for the Queen Elizabeth II Academy for Leadership in International Affairs at Katan House. There is no record of her sending a condolence letter to Buhari's family in 2017 and the online reports of her doing so appear to come from unofficial blogging platform. Thank you for listening to this news. My viewers, um, the truth may delay, but will soon be revealed. All these issue of where is dead, where is alive, where is not alive, he is cloned, and all of that, I tell you, will soon be revealed. What we just need to do is just to exercise patience. Let's exercise patience. We will see the truth. We will see the truth very soon. See, I don't blame Nigerians. I don't blame Nigerians that 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 are of that fact that Bori is dead because because of the way the way the president is acting is different from the way he, he, he was acting the moment he came into office you understand the the difference is very very clear the difference is there is there the difference is there you understand so we have to be sincere with ourselves and the look of the president when he came in in 2015 is quite different from his look the moment he came back from london for treatment so nigerians have every reason to doubt his existence they have a reason. Okay, look at the current state of the country. What will you say is happening to our country, Nigeria? What we are going through now in Nigeria, will you say that it is ordinary? Will you say it is ordinary? You can say it's ordinary because, because our country, Nigeria, is never known to be a suffering country like this. It's never known to be a country with so much with so much hatred. It's not known to be a country 
that suffers from insecurity with so much attack. That is why today is still surprising to many countries that a country like Nigeria is suffering from insecurity, dangerous attack. How? When? Who, 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 who brought it up? And for what reason? Who did they offend? Can Nigerian offend the country? Can Nigerian offend people? All these things keep surprising people. Yes, we face insecurity, but not like in this administration. This administration increased the insecurity issue to 99%. And maybe you don't know, I will tell you. In good luck, Jonathan administration, insecurity was at 30%. And it was being tackled little by little. And we were seeing the results. But the moment President Moon Bari came into power, his intention was strictly on corruption. And he made so many reasons, so many promises to us that within three months, three months, that's what he said, that everything that has to do with insecurity will become a thing of the past. But as I speak to you now, as I broadcast to you now, Nigerian is suffering from insecurity problem for over five years now. We are going to six years. <laughs> Oh, my viewers, I've never seen an administration that is so callous, wicked, and greedy, and self-centered like this one. Yes, I've never seen. I've never. In my entire life, I've never witnessed it. Well, I think... We single-handedly invited this to us, to ourselves. So let us, let us suffer it. Let us suffer it. We asked for it. So, my viewers, what is your take? What's your observation? What do you think? Please, deem it fit to leave your comments below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.